total, you square it, and then add them all together after dividing by the sample size. Now, what, what does the NJ stand for? The NJ stands for the sample size of each particular column. In this case, it's 3, 3, and 3. Some other example might be 3, 3, and 4, or 5, 5, and 6. It doesn't have to be the same number. So, what is the total of, so what is the, the N1? What is the N2? What is the N3? Well, that's going to be 3, 3, and 3. What is the total of the first column? 3 plus 4 plus 2 is equal to 9. Four, uh, four, 7. This is equal to 22. Therefore, the total of the first column, which we just said was 9, when you square it, because the formula says take the total, square it, divide it by the number of numbers making up that total, which was 3, add to that the numbers in the second column, which is equal to 7, but squaring it, divided by 3. The third column was 22. You can see the third column is really contributing a lot because it's a big total and he's squaring that number. Also divided by 3, coincidentally. And from that, you're going to subtract out the grand. What's the grand total here? How much is all nine numbers added together? Well, it's going to be 9 plus 7 plus 22, which is, what is it? 38? I never would have guessed that. Okay, 38 squared divided by 9 now. Now, when you give me that calculation, which will give me uh, all those guys who brought calculators so I don't have to throw you out. Yes, Sarah? I'm sorry, I, I was <laughs> saying it. No, 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 no. I'm being sloppy. The N3, the N3, of course, is equal to 3. What I, no, this, is, this is from before. I mean, this is, yeah, N3 is equal to 3. And this is the, the variation, we call that sigma squared, the variation of the treatment. Okay, we just move it down. Anybody have an answer to this number yet? Thank you. So again, I should point out to you in this chapter, everything really got to be taken out to, in every chapter, two decimal places. This chapter more important, 40.22 or 2 2-2. Two, two. Okay, so, so this is everybody who's trying to calculate should verify that it's 44. And that 4422 goes right over here. And we just finished. Now, what's going to be the next step? For anybody else, get 4422 just to confirm it. Good. good. Okay, what's going to be? Can somebody please tell me the next step? Again, this is, I'm trying to make this participatory as opposed to sit, sitting there passively. Yes. Well, one, one correct thing, you just do this thing for the SSW. Or, but if, well, what's another choice? Yeah, you do this divided by that, we'll give you the number of it. We already can ready, we're now we're ready to create a third, but fill up this box. Or we can continue with, with the complicated formula. Let's do, it, let's do it this way. Let's get the SSW. I mean, there's no right or wrong. It's just a matter of whatever you prefer to do. OK, so let's, I'm, gonna, I'm going to erase the the actual chart, which is nice to have. And now we're going to calculate the SSW. <coughs> now, I should have, I, I made one little mistake a second ago. I should have told you that this part of the formula, which I'm putting in the box right now, which is this number over here, that number is used twice. It's used once over here and used once in the second part of the formula. So it's a good idea to keep, put this number aside so you don't have to do it twice. This SSW is the following. Good. It looks like a complicated looking formula, but it's going to turn out to be easy when you hear what it means. That's the formula for SSW. Now, this part of it, we already had. That's the same thing that we just did over here. So whatever, this, whatever these numbers were, you just copy them over. But what is the double summation xij squared? And again, this is not a fair question. And I mean, if you don't get it right, I won't blame you. But for so those of you who had you know, linear, linear algebra or some mathematical intuition, what do you think the xij stands for? Forget about it. What does the xij by itself stands for? Well, if you think of all this data as a kind of a matrix, this will be x11, x12, x13, x21, x22, x23, x31, x32, x33. So the xij really is a simple, a fancy way of saying all the original data, all the individual data points. What does it tell you? Square them. Why square them? Get rid of the minus sign. And what's the double summation mean? Well, a regular summation means you go in one direction. 
The other summation means you go down. A double summation means you do all the numbers. So th this really is a fancy name of saying take every individual number and square it and add them all together. So it's 3 squared plus 1 squared plus 7 squared plus 4 squared plus 4 squared plus 8 squared plus 2 squared plus 2 squared plus 7 squared. And from this, we have to still subtract out this other piece with one big parenthesis minus 9 squared over 3. And again, if you made no mistake, this has got to be a positive number. Can somebody give me the final answer for that long calculation? Well, it shouldn't be that long, because if you already had this already, this comes out to 9 plus 1 plus 49 plus 16. I mean, it shouldn't take that long. But please do it. Okay, and don't bother double checking because so just give me the number and if we'll verify it with somebody else. Calvin, you have it already? You're looking for the SSW now. Again, if it has to be, if it comes out negative, you made a mistake. Yes. Okay, 212 minus the other part, which is how much? I thought what was the other part. What? You got a 66 as the final answer? I think that's wrong, because I remember this from last year. But I could be, maybe I'm wrong, but let's say, anybody else get a different number, or the same number? Yes? I got 164. <coughs> this piece here is 164? Or 212? Yeah. You got, I think two, two, 212 sounds familiar. This piece here is 212, and this piece is, I'm not sure what it is, but what? 7.3. 7 Remember I told you to take it out to two decimal places, like 7.33? Is that anybody else going to make something? Yeah, that's the, number, that's the number I remember from last year. That's why I think it's right. 7.33. So all those guys who are not getting whatever reason, make sure you're getting two separate big calculations, this calculation, this calculation, and you're subtracting them, and it comes out to very close to 7.33, 7.34, I recall. Anybody not, if you, can, if you can't find it on your own, you can show it to me after class, and I'll be glad to look at it, but I'm pretty sure it's 7. Point. Now we're ready to do the easy part of it, which involves three divisions. It involves this divided by that, this divided by that, and finally this divided by that will come over here. So let's do four, uh, this is called the MS, a, the mean square among, this is called the MSW, this we don't bother filling out, and the MSA is going to be 44.22 divided by 2, which of course is 22.11, that's our first key number. This MSW is going to be this, I'm not even writing the formula, the MSW is SSW divided by N minus C, which is 7. 33 divided by 6, which comes out to 1 point, what? 1 point, I forget, 1 point 28 or something like that. What, what is it come, what is 7 point 33 divided by 6? 1 point 22, thank you. So that's another key number. And finally, as I think uh, somebody said, uh, Aljo said before correctly, the next step is to calculate the F. And the F is simply going to be, F is going to be the MSA divided by the MSW. Which is equal to, in this case, 22.11 divided by 1.22, which of course comes out to 18 point something. Anybody want to give me the exact amount? Okay, what? 18.12, which is clearly much bigger than 1, and therefore probably the A0 is true, but we really have to do what? So we, so let's, let's put this into the, con first of all, let's, let's take a second while everybody, what? I'm saying, yeah, well, I don't know what I said, but this clearly indicates the H1 is true, the A0 is false. But before we go into my next and final step of this whole thing, 
Anybody have any problem with the 